how do you build bravery? Hi, this is Carbis Spence, the Own Your Awesome Mentor, and today we continue chatting with Emily Ann Peterson, author of Bare Naked Bravery, all about bravery. So how do you build bravery? So bravery is built every day. It's something that is practiced every day. If you don't practice it, that muscle atrophies. Mm. And in a similar way, it's like one of the metaphors I use is, is a spiral. Yeah, maybe you respond to a text message in one way, one time. And then the next time somebody asks you that question, you can call them on the phone. And then the next time you can have that conversation face to face. Time you practice feats of bravery, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger until you're doing something like on a public stage talking to thousands of people. But Baby the difference, step. yeah, the difference between you doing that big, huge talk and then the day before you did the big, huge talk for maybe hundreds of people, if you ask somebody doing those kinds of public speaking talks, it doesn't feel that different on a day to day basis Mm-mm. most of the time. Right. But if you ask them, hey, 10 years ago, did you ever think you would be doing this thing that you're doing today? They would go, oh, absolutely not. They would be petrified. Like they would have absolutely done everything they could have to prevented me from doing this thing that I did today, 10 years later. So it, it is truly a spiral and you have to practice it every day and you can practice it in various arenas of your life. So like maybe you're really brave in your creative realm, but you're not really brave in a relational realm. You can practice the same skills that you know how to do in creativity, and but you have to start maybe back to an earlier part of that spiral with your relationships just because you haven't practiced bravery in that realm of your life yet. So Right. Okay. So talk about bare naked bravery. <laughs> <laughs> Why bare naked <laughs> bravery? Well, I mean, the first ingredient of bravery is vulnerability. Mm. And it's one of the first big ones. There's three big ones, vulnerability, imagination, and improvisation. It is really hard to truly be brave if you are ignoring, denying, or holding your arms out and holding up too many boundaries, basically. Mm. I am all for boundaries, by the way. But it takes an extreme amount of bravery to even remove boundaries that you've set up or even to partially remove boundaries. So it's really that vulnerability is the thing that makes someone go, oh, yeah, that's brave. Because if you're not risking something, right, that's not usually a brave thing that you're doing. You're just being a jerk or something, <laughs> running, ar- <laughs> running around senseless, you know. Right. So risking something sometimes it's rejection sometimes it's a wad of cash sometimes it's you know the love of a a loved one you know Mm -hmm. you're gonna be risking something right and it takes a lot of vulnerability to make those risks right exactly and so my last question you are on the cover of your book yeah (laughs) what's the story behind that well, I mean, I had I have my friend Genevieve Pearson. She is a amazing photographer out in Seattle, which is where I'm based, and she is a Nordstrom like editorial photographer for Nordstrom's catalog, that kind of thing. She does phenomenal work, and I called her up one day and was like, I think I might want to do a nude photo shoot for a future album that I do. And she was like, yes, and we'll bring smoke bombs and flowers and so many things. She was so, so excited. And so it just so happened that I didn't use the shot that is on the book for any album yet. And so it just made sense when I started my own podcast, which was the research portion for my book. It just made sense that if the podcast was going to be called Bare Naked Bravery, I should probably <laughs> put some of that on, <laughs> on the cover image. And then because the book ended up becoming that name as well, then it also went on the cover of the book too. Wow. So, yeah, I really actually enjoy that cover because we chose two. It was the winner out of two options. One was where I was actually more nude. It was mm. like the backside of me when I was doing some like swamp backwards swan dive or something like that. And there it was a really like split decision. There was really a tie on social media as to like which cover I should go with. But ultimately, I chose this one because 
I'm not completely nude. And that's part of being brave is saying, yeah, I'm going to be vulnerable, but I am going to hold my arms in front of my chest and you're not going to see everything. Right. Because that's me being brave and strong. And just because you're being brave doesn't mean you have to be completely nude. Right. And what I liked about it, too, is, you know, you talk about vulnerability in your book and there's a vulnerability while so your body's like holding in. Yep. But you can see the set in your jaw. You're confident. Yeah. So it's got that dichotomy going on there, which is a part of bravery. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I'm so glad you picked up on that. (laughs) Yeah. So is there anything I haven't asked you that you'd like to share? If you would like to be part of some of the bravery or you have some questions or anything, please shoot me a message on social media or through my website at all. There's always loads of free goodies and stuff available on my website. So have at it. There's book bonuses, coloring books, music, (laughs) all the good stuff. Yeah. And your website is? My website is emilyannpeterson.com. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining me on Weekday Wisdom. Thank you for having me. This has been so great. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. This is Karma Spence, the Own Your Awesome Mentor. Remember this, don't box yourself in. No boxes. Spread your wings and fly because you, yes, you are capable of more than you know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube and send me a comment below. If you have questions for future videos, also put them in a comment below. I want the weekday wisdom to be something that you value and look forward to watching.